We've had lots of local discussion, of course, around the budget, and then the arguments continue about its, its efficacy, its fairness and the like. We're going to take an international look this morning on, on how the Australian economy and this budget in relation to it is viewed. What's the broad brush? Well, the unusual thing is people think, gee, deficit crisis, debt crisis, what are you going on about in Australia? I mean, net, net debt to GDP only 11%, an OECD average of 50%. So people overseas that have, you know, have just been travelling through Europe and North East Asia, they're a bit... They're struggling a bit with a budgetary emergency. You know, I mean, surely you know the Greeks and the US would think you look in pretty good shape. So the, the, those claims of a debt crisis, therefore, are being based on that figure, which is low comparatively to the rest of the world, are, are being overstated. Oh yes, there's, there's no way there's a, there's no way there's a debt crisis or budget crisis in Australia. There's things to do in the long term, in terms of our demographics and in terms of health and education, but it's not a debt crisis. So talk to us in terms of exports. Uh, what can you see that, that might be consequences for the export trade of, of, of whatever areas you'd like to look at out of this budget? Well, what's interesting is that Andrew Robb's been a very successful trade minister in a short period of time. He's got FTAs with, with Korea, with Japan. He's coming pretty close in China. The thing is about exporters is if you open up markets and give exporters better market access, they've got to have support to come all the way through. So, you know, changes to industry policy that we, we, we that were, were highlighted in the Commission of Audit, uh, knocking off the Australian network, some of those tools that give exporters, you know, good, good marketing uh, access uh, in some ways don't really help Andrew Robb's good efforts. Now, there's been a lot of criticism about that big cut, that swinging cut to the foreign aid budget, uh, foreign aid budget in, in the budget. Uh, has that been worth, the, uh, worth all the criticism? Well, in some ways, um, you know, I mean, aid can, can be effective. I think when it's um, linked to capacity building, it can be important. We know that a lot of aid does get captured in the wrong places when uh, countries have bad institutions. Uh, but I think to some extent, to some extent, I think where you improve education and human capital, then aid can be very effective. And uh, are you in favour of the abolition of the Australian network? Well, no, I'm not. I think it's a very important diplomatic tool. I think there's more, there should be more business programs, there should be more uh, economic diplomacy on the Australian network, but I think we need it. So, so the network, as it's been operated and run and broadcast by the ABC, hasn't met the standards that you would like to see? No, and in fact, um, you know, the BBC does a very good job on, on business and economic diplomacy. I think um, the Australian network would have a great opportunity there and uh, is, is well received internationally. If it was recast though? It, it would be. There, there should be more business, uh, more export and more economic content, I think. Okay. Tim, good to talk to you. Thank you. Good to be with you. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks, thank you, so much. Thanks.